What is stock? When a company needs to raise money in order to grow, it can choose to offer ownership shares to the public through stock. You've probably heard the phrase, a company is going public. That means that the ownership structure of the company is changing from being owned privately by a few individuals to being owned publicly by thousands of people. This is called an initial public offering. Once the shares are offered to the public, they are then available to trade on the stock market. The most popular stock markets are the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. While they execute buying and selling transactions differently, their function is the same. Stock markets bring together buyers and sellers so that everyone gets a fair price. Owning stock gives investors a claim on the assets and earnings of a company, based on the number of shares they own. The price of a share changes as investors evaluate the likelihood that a firm's earnings, profits, and cash flow will grow. While you would expect that changes in the business prospects of a company would drive day-to-day -day movements in stock prices, it turns out the prices are also impacted by the shifting emotions of investors. In fact, prices change numerous times each day based on investor sentiment, and the herd mentality of the market can affect prices even without news about the company. A successful, publicly traded company has several options when deciding what to do with its earnings and profits. It might choose to pay out a portion to investors in the form of a dividend. Many mature businesses with stable cash flows pay shareholders a high dividend as an incentive for them to invest. Another choice for a company is to acquire other businesses with the cash earned from their profitable operations. Business acquisitions entail their own kinds of risk, but can also fuel growth in the future. Finally, a company might decide to buy back its own stock with the cash it accumulates. Buying back stock shows investors that the company believes in its own future, and it reduces the number of shares outstanding, which makes the rest of the shares more valuable. If a company can grow its earnings and profits, then the price of its shares will increase. This growth, along with the value of the dividends it pays, will often outpace the rate of inflation over time. Investors who buy stock expect to be rewarded for the risks they take, with much higher returns than they would receive if they simply lent money to a business by buying their bonds.